Welcome to the Ago model for my next build. I'm building this FX Stunt 3 75mm assault gun, scale 1 to 76. Yeah, again, this is another one that's uh, involving in my 176 range. So, this is the uh, famous assault gun which I'm looking forward to building. Um, it's an all kit and it's a small kit. The um, painting guy's actually on the box. So have you done any of these kits, you'll be well aware that the older ones do have the, the marking guide and paint on the box. The kit itself, I'll just open this up. Hopefully all the parts are here, I'd like the Panther. We have the track. The hull. The low hill. Hull. Side, side into the wheels, the wheels themselves, and that's it. So I'm going to carefully look at the instructions this time and see whether any parts are missing. Small decal sheet. And the instructions. So not a lot on this kit, just one page of instructions. So it'll probably take me 10 minutes to build. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. So I'll have a look at this, go and get it primed, then we'll get on with the build. Well, to begin with, I'm using UA734 Dirty Black Rubber Shades Worn by Life Color. Um, this is how I start all these uh, little um, tanks and um, kits by painting the wheels first. It's always better to paint the rim first before you go into the main colour, which is Ambrose 94 Brown Yellow. Now this colour is going to be the main base colour, so you'll see this colour going on throughout the uh, kit. Onto the tracks and I'm using Ambrose 113 Ross to form the base colour for the track. Now this uh, will then be getting covered over with Ambrose 53 Gun Metal. And it's more more not just a light coating of this uh, colour. Um, you you want the rust to shine through, and the um, the gun metal colour gives it the metallic effect. So onto the assembly of the wheels. Um, obviously, it's a small kit, so these uh, wheels are tiny. They're quite difficult, uh, tricky, not difficult, tricky to put together. So I'm using them on, on a cocktail stick and. Uh, to help line them up. I've done a few of these little tanks though and this is the only one I've had to build like this. All the rest um, fitted okay. You know. So um, the idle wheel that is next to you, um, that just simply pushes on. There's various location pins for the sidewall for the uh, wheels to go on. In the instructions uh, it gives you different numerals to um, go in sequence uh, but l looking at the kit the um this the, the medium size and the main wheels um they're all the same so don't worry about the number so much um you seem to go with uh with the flywheel and uh, the drive wheels or in the in the idle wheel they, they, they don't uh necessarily have to be done in the number ordered on the instruction sheet However, you have to be careful while pushing these uh, main wheels on. I did have a couple uh, break on me, so it may be a wise idea just to open up the recess hole on the wheel um, to fit onto the location pin. You can do this by placing your knife in and twisting it around to enlarge the hole. I didn't do it because I wanted a tight, tight fit, but it transpired the, the fit was too tight and a couple of them did a head crack. It was okay, I, I managed to save them to, with a little bit of cement and uh, once they were painted, it looked within keeping. Back to the track, and first of all, you have to separate them, so I'll just um, cut them with a pair of scissors um, in half. And then it's time to uh, bond them together, so you do this using um, a strip of metal or something, heat it up, and um, then all you have to do, once the metal is heated is to gently just uh, 
lay it down onto the rubber track. Just do this very lightly because you don't want it to obviously burn through the entire track. It doesn't take a lot of heat to do it, um, but just be careful as well. Um, you don't want to burn your fingers and so forth. So once it's uh, cooled down, it's just a simple case of stretching it over the wheels. Now, the instructions say uh, do this um, after the um, sidewalls are on the hull. I always prefer to do them now um, because it's easier to get it on than trying to fit it underneath the, the guardrail from the hull. So it's time to assemble the main tank now. There's, um, there's not much to assemble on this. There's um, what appears to be an exhaust or a bag or something. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's a strange shape anyway that goes on the bottom of the hull. The, um, the gun mount um, gets fed inside the actual hull. So make sure that's made up before um, you place everything together. It does have the option to be free moving. Um, I had a little bit of problem fitting this. The, there was a couple of gaps that um, I didn't like the look of. And it took a while to get it in place. In the end, I cemented it all in place and ended up locking the the mechanism up. So mine won't be free moving, unfortunately. I probably could have been able to do it if I, if I persevered, but um, it's in now and that's that. So time to put the track onto the... Um, bottom part of the hull. There's a little um, guide bar um, on the inside that just runs along for you to hold the track on. So do that for both sides then it's simply a case of placing the top part of the hull on over the track. Next is the turret hatches. Again um, like all these little tanks you have the option to have them open or closed. Um, the rectangular one is in two halves that you can leave open or um, the, the um, main hatch is uh, just one uh, single piece. Again, you can leave open. Next is the um, front hatch or the gun sight position. This is a, a solid piece. There's no um, covering for this. It just fits right next to the um, gun. The, there's also a, a blast shield uh, type thing that uh, goes on the top. top. The, there's a little um, recess uh, point for it to fit into. There's also a couple of aerials um, to go on here. Now these are solid plastic. You can change them to uh, wire if you wish. But there's little um, location points just at the edge there for them to fit into. The gun is a, a solid piece uh, which isn't keeping with the other kits that I've done for this scale. So I've had to uh, use my pin drive to drill in um, the opening. Then just to use my knife to expand the, the hole that I made. You don't necessarily have to do it all the way down, of course, uh, just enough to make sure that it uh, is visible. So then the um, cover for the gun barrel goes on next. It, it should just fit right inside the housing. Remember, mine's is um, stuck into one position, uh, but you can't have it free moving, of course. And once that's on, that's almost everything on it. So it's uh, now time to paint it. So go into the base color and painting this all over. In, in the 94 brown yellow and once the base goes on I'm just applying the two spare wheels there's a uh, location pins right in the back that, uh, that were placed on earlier on and now I'm moving on to the detailing so the first is a lemon silver and that's for the aerials and then I'm moving on to Humbro 70 brick red and this is for the camouflage painting now, I'm just using a photograph as a guide here, but um, you, you can do how, how you feel uh, what is necessary if you decide to go down the camouflage route. And the contrasting colour is 117 US light green. Always amuses me that the colour is US light green on the German tanks. But that's the for me the best shade that I found for the green. So all that's left here is to put on the gun barrel that just um, pushes into the housing without any, any force and once that's done um, I put on, put on the spare tracks. Now I'm putting these on the back. The picture on the box shows them on the back but the instruction says put them on the side but if you put them on the side then you won't get your decals shown properly so I put them on the back. On to the decals now and um, the, there's very little decals to go on just on the side 
on the back of the tank, uh, two on the side and two on the back. Uh, so six and two one support for this. Uh, take a little decals, put on the normal way, um, softened in some water, added my decal solution and then placed on the decal. So I maneuvered on with my cocktail stick and um, my brush as well depending on what's necessary. Such a simple little process uh, for the scale. And once the decals are done, I'm using Tamiya's Weather Master of Sea and the gun metal component just to go over the ridged areas to give it a little bit of depth and weathering. Now that's going to bring the build to an end. Um, this kit was really nice to build. Anyone can build this kit. In fact, it's a great starting point for anyone who hasn't built any armor before. Um, it's got everything in there that an armor vehicle has. And um, it doesn't take long to build and it won't um, tax tax you as such so in the meantime if you haven't done so already why don't you check out my channel uh, check out the playlist for the 178 builds that I'm currently doing or indeed any other content on the channel if you subscribe to the channel you'll get um, my future updates and of course you can leave a comment and as well as hit that like button but for now thank you all very much for watching bye bye